everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial using the fabulous Lorac Pro Palette, specifically that deep teal shade. And if you follow me on Instagram, you knew it was coming, you already know what look I would I am going to do. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. This is the Too Faced Eyeshadow Primer Shadow Insurance thing. I use this for all of my looks. It doesn't matter which one. I just always feel like reassured that my shadows are gonna stay the whole day. So we are just gonna apply this to the lid. that deep teal shade right here. It's this gorgeous teal shade. I love it so much. Where's my shadow brush? I just had it in my hand. This shade does come up a bit um, patchy, so you may have to apply a couple coats of it. color. Use the shade called brown, which is uh, this one right here. And this will act as our transition color. And if you know me at all, then you know I never use transition colors. But I felt like with these dark shades, I really wanted it to be blended really nicely. So um, I did add a transition color. So let's go ahead and do that. For the actual transition, or for the actual crease color, I believe I used maroon, which is down here. Has some shimmer in it, and it goes really well with this look. For the outer V, um, I used like a small accent brush because I really wanted to get like defined in the outer V. So this is just a teeny tiny little brush. It's very like dense, so you can really get in there. The shade I used for the outer V is dun -dun -dun, this caviar shade right here, and it's just your sparkly black shade, and it just blends really well with that deep um, teal shade and this is super pigmented so you really don't need too much.
important to blend in these dark shades so they all blend together. I did do some work on the lower lash line, so I'm taking my Essence of Beauty Fine Crease Crease Blot. Blah, 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 blah. I'm taking my Essence of Beauty Fine Crease Brush. Um, it's just this really tiny one that allows you to get really close under the line, lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take a, all of those colors and brush them against my lower lash line, not in any particular order, just kind of all like darkest to lightest basically and before I do that I did use Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes um, Azure Green uh what is this called eyeliner and I just literally did a little bit right here And I used that as kind of like my base because I will be using this for my upper lash line as well. I don't know why I'm switching all around, but um, it'll just hold the shadows really well and make that deep teal pop even more. So I'm taking deep teal first and I'm putting that right over top. Okay, then just taking that caviar shade kind of just over over lapping that looks really crazy now but I'm gonna take the um, maroon shade and kind of just go over go over the whole thing basically Make it all just flow together. Take your blending brush with the other stuff on it and just smoke it out. Back to the upper lash line. I did, I originally used a black liner, so I will do that again. I was like, wait a second, I never used this um, eyeliner, so I went over top that black um, liner. And if you did lose any of that deep teal, um, shadow, then feel free to add some more. And for highlight, and I also use this for inner corner, I took, hang on, I took vanilla right here. That's my highlight. Just to like brighten things up and I did put it in the um, inner corner as well.
falsies to this look or just use regular mascara and pump up the volume if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I don't wear falsies so I'm going to be using just mascara but I'm going to be using two. Um, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay sub Subversion um, Primer and then using the L'Oreal Miss Mingo Mascara because I love this stuff. And then I have the Perversion Mascara which I will layer on top just to um, get the length. So I'm going to go do that and I will come back at the end of the video with... All okay so here is the um, finished look. I will be adding some pictures. Uh, of course if you already follow me on Instagram like I said you know what pictures I'm going to be posting but um, I don't know what's going on with my hair here. I really like this look. It's definitely super bold and dramatic especially the lashes. I feel like the lashes like are just crazy but I love that like when I go like that I can actually see the lashes like on my brow bone like that's what I like. Um, so those mascaras that I mentioned are really nice. The combination is amazing. Um, definitely my favorite high end, my favorite low end of all time. Top favorite, hands down. Holy grail mascaras, high end, low end. I mean high end, low end. It's definitely like a smoky, bold, um, deep teal, deep teal, smoky eye. Um, I hope you guys liked it for my Fearless Fall, um, series definitely did the whole bold thing so I'm really proud of myself for that. Hopefully uh, I will start using some other products but right now I'm still like seriously obsessed and it's been like a week since I've had this and I have just been using it every day seriously. Okay guys be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys on Friday for Fashion Friday. Alright I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Focus. There we go. And you can't forget mascara with a look like this. You can add falsies. I never use falsies. Oh my gosh. Be sure to give this video a thumbs. Hang on. <laughs>